It's Ella. What's today, honey? School. Your first day of school. Let me see you. Let me see how beautiful your outfit is. Show it off. Oh my this goodness. Is, this is perfect for the bubble. Yeah, let me see your hair. We got this beautiful. Oh this beautiful braid with some flowers. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. I play with my presents right now. Yeah. And I found two kitties and one puppy for and this one's like a lot smaller from the big ones. Yeah, we have a little bit of time before we drive you in. What? So I'm letting you play with your toys, but this one didn't wake up feeling that hot this morning, so we had a little bit I of a fun. scare. We had a little bit of a scare, but she's feeling much better. So, first day of school. Is Mama going to cry? No. Perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm just not ready. I'm not ready for this. I won't ever be ready for this. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I'm not. Hi, Daddy, you guys. I'm not like ready, but you know, I'm ready. We're on our way to go. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Can you edit out my hiccups? No, you know how much editing that would be? Well, we're gonna go enjoy to the hiccups <gasps> while they last. <laughs> Today we're gonna go to kindergarten yeah. and this is just the only thing. But this, this day is the worst day. I'm a little bit cold and I have a really bad cough. Yeah, you got a bit of a cough, but. We'll make it through, girlfriend. I am not ready. <laughs> no, right, I'm like... ready to go to school. <clears throat> oh, God. Nope. Still not ready. We just did pictures with my mom. Uh, she came over at 8. It's close to 9. Now. You're yawning. You're hiccuping. You're not buckling your seatbelt. You're trying to make every noise possible. I'm not trying to. <laughs> this vlog. I got the hiccups. No. <laughs> 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 well, I can't even see you to do that. Oh, <laughs> you're in, you're in for a surprise, baby girl. Mommy. Oh. Okay, and it begins. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Are you at my school yet? Is anyone behind me? No. <gasps> no. <clears throat> I don't know if I should go down there and like. Turn. I think I'm gonna go down there and turn around. I'm just gonna cry because my baby's growing up. Where That's gonna... why I'm crying. Why are you gonna cry, Mom? Because I'm gonna <gasps> miss you. Jeez, I think we were early. No, we're not. Definitely not early. The school bus has already arrived and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. But they won't allow parents in until. Oh, it's okay, Mom. Well, oh, I know it's okay, Bubby, but I still. It's just you're growing up on me, you know. I'm like, <laughs> hold it together. I told myself, do not cry till I get back in the car. <laughs> okay, lady. Remember what I said? I do not film near my daughter's school for privacy reasons. But we're gonna go drop her off and probably take some more pictures. So what is I'm? We'll be back. I keep it. <laughs> How are you feeling, Daddy? Because I'm a mess. Feeling, feeling good. Feeling okay. Uh, you know, that was, I mean, we got, it was it was a little chaotic when we got there. We had to go sign in as visitors. Um, we kind of just waited outside and they took the kids to the classroom. And then we had to get, like, passes. We had to fill out a form because, like, one of us will be picking her up every day. Like, mostly me, but, like, when I go into labor in January, like, he'll be picking her up, so filled out a form for passes that we got to pick up at the end of the day and that was so sad there was this little kid seatbelt there was this little kid that reminded me so much of me though <laughs> because I did not like school and I was so attached to my mom and he is screaming and crying and like I, I feel bad like I'm not like oh look at this kid I feel bad because I can relate you know 
It was just so sad. He's like, Mommy, don't leave me. I'm like, oh. And I was just looking. I was looking at me like, Ma. Um, oh, see, I kept it together because I kept trying to think of things that made me angry. <laughs> but then when I like had to tell her, okay, like, you know, it's time to go. We'll, um, oh my gosh, we'll pick you up at three or whatever. I, I flip and lost it. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, we'll talk to her when she gets out of school and see how her birthday went, I guess. Wish I was still recording, but we just pulled up. We just pulled up to our house and it was, um... Sorry, I'm trying to listen. We pulled up and there was a Liberty car parked in our driveway and I'm like, I've had our bills paid. What was that about? Well, that explains our really low bills that we got. Our meter was broken. <laughs> and they gave me a replacement. They're like, no, these guys use a lot of electricity. We gotta fix it. Oh, so they came and fixed it. Oh. Damn. They couldn't give me like a warning or something, like send me something in the mail saying hi. That's so funny because we got like a, well go shut your door honey. We got like a $15 bill yeah. <laughs> this month. Yeah. Where'd you go? This way, bub. I went the wrong way. LMA. Yeah. Where'd you go? Uh <laughs> Come back here. <laughs> we stopped at Sephora too. Do you okay. want to do it again? Ow! <laughs> you, did, you don't push me too hard. It is so strange being by myself. <laughs> um, I just dropped Ella off for the second day of school. I ended up liking yesterday. I can't even remember. I feel like I filmed her when she got home but anyways I just dropped her off and she was outside playing and um it was funny because like this little girl I guess she sits next to in class and she saw her and like ran right over so she's making friends which is a good thing I just stopped at Dunkin Donuts to get myself a hot chocolate I've been craving one of these they're so yummy last time I got a small and I wish I got a medium so this time I got a medium um but you know what I I have so much to do today that is kind of a good thing that she's like in school and I have the opportunity to get this stuff done because she's gonna have a long weekend. Um, I already went to the bank. I have to go back to the dentist. <sighs> should I do that now or should I do that later? I feel like I should do that now because I have to go to the dentist. I have to go to Walmart to get a baby shower gift. I need to call the school for a school ID. I need to pay a bill and I need to go grocery shopping. Um, <laughs> I need to go, actually, you know what? Before we even like go all the way to the dentist, I'm gonna check my car for this piece of paper that I need. Okay, I think when I cleaned out my car one of these days, I threw away that paper that I got from the dentist to give to the people to get my root canal done and I cannot find it anywhere <laughs> um so that's an issue so i like i have been in so much pain recently you guys like even <clears throat> even last night i woke up i went to bed um your concert tickets to go see sorry i went to bed at like 8 30 because i've been waking up at 5 30 to get ready you know for like ella's school and everything i've been going to bed super early and I literally woke up, she woke up crying because she wasn't feeling that hot. She's feeling much better. Her temperature has gone down. Um, now she's just dealing with a cough. So she woke up crying at 1130 and I could not fall back asleep because I was in so much pain. And I've been taking Tylenols, but they honestly really haven't been doing a whole lot for me. Like I take one and I wait for it to kick in. And like at first it was working well. 
that as of recently, they haven't been working well at all. So I can't even get sleep. I ended up waking up again at 11.30 and I didn't fall asleep till probably 2.30 in the morning, just like rolling around in pain. Like I could not get comfortable. So I've been putting off the dentist long enough. I really, really need to go get it done. I'm sick and tired of being in this much pain. I'm already like uncomfortable as it is just being pregnant <laughs> and getting bigger, um, you know, and then obviously dealing with the stress of Ella starting school and trying to figure all that out. I just don't want to deal with this. Like my whole left side of my face hurts from like my cheekbone to my chin hurts. Um, so I have to go get that done today. I got to go see if they can like make me another copy or get me the information that I need or something. I don't know. While I'm down there, I'm going to stop at a shop as well and get some lunch. So I'm actually concerned. I think I'm going to stop at Walmart first and go get what I need here. I need a lanyard, a binder for Ella's stuff to keep at home and then the baby shower gift. That should be it, <laughs> but we'll see. I just got back from Walmart. Um, we, uh, I was able to pack my sister-in-law's present. The only thing is I didn't want to wrap the card or put in the tissue paper yet because I wanted TJ oh, the opportunity to sign that as well uh, before tomorrow. Can you also believe that tomorrow is Ella's birthday? Like I know we had the party, but tomorrow she's turning five years old and I have a gift that I've been hiding and storing forever. If you guys remember um, my birthday party haul, I showed you two of the items. Those have still been hiding. So I'm gonna try to sneak them in her room or something or like give it to her as soon as she wakes up or I don't know. But I, one of the reasons I wanna go to Walmart is because I wanted a way to, oh, the sticker is still on here. I wanted a way to organize like the paperwork and stuff that Ella brings home because I remember this is like the worst sticker. <laughs> I remember being little, my mom keeping mine and my brother's artwork and um, stuff and she used to date it and it was just, it was kind of like just like a fun thing to look back on. So I figured every year for school, you know, my two kids would end up getting a binder obviously when this one is here and starts school. Um, so this says Ella Kindergarten 2019 to 2020. Um, and then it just has some, on right on top, there's just some information for me that eventually I can throw away. But this was the very first thing she did <laughs> in kindergarten. And then um, same thing here. This, this she was working on before we even left that first morning. And then she also did that but it's so funny as you can see she like drew a pony or something <laughs> so it's just you know just a way for me to organize her stuff so I really wanted something like that and I didn't need anything fancy to do so so I got that as well um now uh, I don't know what I did but like shivers are sent down my spine um now I'm probably gonna try to edit a video real quick because I still need to go run my errands but one of them I can't really do until after 11. Like I wanted to go down, like just, just to not backtrack so much. I wanted to get lunch at 11 and they don't open up for another hour. So it takes me about 20 minutes to get down there. So I'm going to kill about 40 minutes. I have a bill to pay anyways. And then I'm going to try to get a head start on one of my vlogs as well. And then we will pick up where we left off. Ugh. I got the chili willies from touching something and like the feeling is not going away. Okay, this by the way, I don't share a lot of organization tips because I feel like I have so much work ahead of me, but I'm telling you, like this has been one of the best things I ever did for myself. So I just got this gigantic white binder like forever ago and I got like tab dividers. So like right on top are things that I kind of need to see all the time or whatever. Like this one right here is just showing me like when Arrow is due for his next vaccination. So like I already got a 2020 planner because <laughs> I'm crazy. I already got a 2020 planner and put in when he's due for his vaccinations. But like things I need to know are like right on top. And then like I said, I divide it. I also have some like other like really important stuff that I always need access to like important emails or whatever. Um, and then I have even like event. What the heck is going on? I keep getting the chills. 
um, I have like an events ticket so I flip and I have like a, we still have a Boston cruise for two like a dinner um, these are some uh, amusement park season passes so stuff like that I even have a tab for recipes so when I was writing down recipes like I have a whole bunch um, in here you know I do have some more in a different binder as well but there's just some here and then I have my biggest thing is my bills tab so like I have all my bills in here whether they're paid or not um, like right on top is the bill that I have to pay but like I organize them so like this is all my you know casella bill and then you flip a little bit there's all my electric bills and then you flip a little bit there's my easy passes and then my Verizon bill so on and so forth so I keep them all like together but I put the newest one on top so like today I have to pay casella so I go to my casella wherever that is I flip to the first page and there it is it just helps me keep it keeps me so organized and then I even have a tab for kids doctor information so like every time Ella goes to a doctor I put her vaccination reports in here her physical so like whenever the school asked me like when was her last physical this just happened um they asked me when my last her last physical was i went to the newest physical exam that she got and wrote down the date like it's just really 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 easy this is honestly the back of here is just a ton of like old mortgage stuff i probably don't even need um but there's like tax bills you know what i mean it keeps everything together and it just it's helped me so much so i don't know I, it's just it's it's a really 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 simple way if you're an unorganized person to somewhat become organized because i'm telling you with ella starting school i'm already like losing my head so it's just a suggestion obviously you don't have to take it i just like sharing because it's helped me so much over the past couple of years like this binder is like everything you know what i mean so i gotta go pay that bill now all right i'm in a good spot i literally my why is my I left my ring light on. Um, I'm in a good spot. I feel good. I got the, you know, obviously the birthday gift situated. I got this situated. I got that bill paid. I got uh, my daughter. I added money to her school lunch account. So, you know, today I packed her a lunch, but hopefully when she goes back on Tuesday, again, they're closed Monday, back on Tuesday, she'll be able to buy school lunches. So I feel good. Oh, and then I was able to work on quite a bit of a vlog, which is really good. But it's getting to the point of where I'm going to go get some lunch. I also called my dentist because I didn't want to make the trip if, like, I don't know, they couldn't give me the information that I needed. Um, so I called them. I left them a message. So I'm waiting for them to get back to me. I need, I need information anyways. You know what I mean? I can't go get my root canal done without it. Um, but I got to bring, I got to bring the plates and napkins back that we didn't use from the party as well. Oh, and I have a thank you card <laughs> too. I'm gonna drop off. So let's go get her done. I'm having a minor issue with my neighbors, which drama is always fun. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm the kind of person that like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't mind drama videos and stuff, but drama in my own life, I really try to avoid. You know what I mean? And I... <laughs> One of my, I don't even care if my neighbors see this. And it's pissing me off. Oh, let me, uh, I'm gonna fix my lipstick real quick. I don't know if it was in this vlog or last vlog, but I went to Sephora and uh, I picked up this L Ludwig from Kat Von D. That's the color I'm wearing today. Also gonna cross off my to-do list as I talk to you guys, but I don't, like I said, I don't care if my neighbors see this because they know what they're doing. <laughs> I have this one neighbor and I don't know who it is. Um, hang on, I did the bank, I did the gift, I did the Casella, I did the school ID, I did the pull up. So last but not least is to work on my video, go grocery shopping, and then when I hear back from the dentist, talk to them. Cool. Uh, grocery shopping is definitely a priority. I would like to get that done. Um, but no, I'm having an issue where I think I know who it is, but I'm not sure. So we have like a neighbor's app, which is pretty cool. So if you have questions, if you're looking for recommendations, whatever, like it's been used to like not keep track of kids, but like 
you know, like warn parents if like the kids are like acting up in the neighborhood, whatever. It's just to keep everybody up to date, right? So I've never posted on there. Like I keep the app, I have notifications turned on. I, I keep up to date with people, but I never um, post myself until yesterday because I got so pissed. Someone keeps letting their dog poop in my yard. And this morning, it's funny because when I was getting Ella ready for school and I was making her lunch, I was standing outside of my, uh, outside, but I was standing in front of the window so I could see outside and I saw a lady, it, the dog only peed, but I saw a lady let the dog pee in my yard. But I'm like, even that is not like, okay. You know what I mean? We live right next to woods. You can't take your dog five more feet. She was heading that way anyway. So anyway, somebody keeps letting their dog poop in my yard and I'm getting pissed. <laughs> I'm getting so upset because I, I almost stepped in it the other day on Ella's first day of school. My mom almost stepped in it. Like, I am not responsible to pick up your dog's poop. I get that it's on my property and now it's become my responsibility, but it's like someone keeps letting it happen. And I know there's a couple dogs in their neighborhood that are let off the leash and I have nothing wrong with that if your dog is well behaved. Like my mom's dog, my baby girl Sandy, that golden retriever, she's let off the leash. She's an old dog. She doesn't go anywhere. Like she doesn't run off. She comes right back when you call her. Great. You know what I mean? But there's this one dog that just runs wild all over the neighborhood while the owner chases her. And I caught that particular dog owner. Her dog I happened to be outside and she didn't see me, but I was outside and I saw her dog squat and poop on the ground. And that this was, I mean, again, during like the beginning of the summer, so I don't know if it's the same culprit or not, but I've seen it. <laughs> but she let the dog poop and then she's like fast walking away. So I'm like, uh, ma'am, like I called out to her. She didn't, she ignored me, you know what I mean? I say it loud enough that she could hear me. So I called her again, I'm like, uh, ma'am. So then she looks around, I'm like, your dog just pooped in my yard. Like you're coming back to clean that up, right? And she's like, oh, I don't have doggy bags. I'll have to go get some at home. I said, all right, I'll, I'll be here. So she did come back and clean it up. But it's like, she was trying to run away from me. She was trying to run away from the poop. And it's like, even if, oh, hello, this person don't know how to drive. I'm like, even if you, like, are, you know if your dog's not the most well-behaved dog ever like you gotta carry doggy bags even leash dogs you need doggy bags it, that just it, that's just common sense to me so now I have a, a poop culprit in my neighborhood that I have to deal with um, but anyway I brought up the whole um, thing about the neighborhood app is because I reached out and I said listen I said you know, I never post on here. I don't have a problem with anybody. I said, my husband and I keep to ourselves. I said, but I have a young daughter and I have another child on the way and someone keeps allowing their pet to poop in my yard. I said, my yard is not, <laughs> I said, my yard is not a bathroom. I said, I would really appreciate if whoever keeps allowing this to happen would please choose a more appropriate spot to allow their animal to do their business. If not, at the very least, carry doggy bags. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even own a dog, and I'm, I, I'm like, I love dogs. I love dogs to pieces. It's not the dog's fault; it's the owner's fault. But it's like, I'm so frustrated. So that that's the little bit of a <laughs> that's a little bit of drama going on in my life right now. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm literally, if I find out who it is, I'm gonna scoop it up and I'm gonna put it on their doorstep. Like you think I'm kidding? I'm not. Am I more mature than that? Nah, <laughs> not when it comes to that. Nope. I catch them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find where you live, and I'm gonna leave it.